Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be taking you through a bunch of art techniques that you can really apply to anything you're painting. So here's some of my artwork that I can show you. So this one's quite simple, it's kind of comic style art. Um, then we've got a bit of abstract painting with acrylics. Um, this is also done with acrylics um, and it's used a load of uh, different shading for the different um, difference in lighting. Um, and then this here is one of my favourites. Um, this is done in acrylics and it's used um, an abstract view on pineapples. So you can really employ this technique on any object really. So here you can see a similar painting done in watercolours actually. And um, this one, it's a painting of a giraffe. So you can use this colour combination uh, basically to paint anything and kind of um, mess with the paints as you like. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be going through how to recreate um, this painting. So some things you're going to need for this is um, a piece of paper, a pencil, um, some watercolour paints, um, a palette, some brushes and some water. So as I said earlier, um, you can employ these techniques to do an acrylic piece as well, but I will be going through that in more detail in future videos. So go ahead, grab a cup of tea and keep watching. Okay, so to begin with, we're just going to be sketching out the giraffe and make sure you do this quite roughly. It doesn't need to be perfect and have a reference image so that you can keep looking back and forth to see if you're kind of getting the same angles and every feature in the right place as they should be. Right, so at the end of your little sketch, you should have something looking like a bit like this. And it really shouldn't look like much at this point because you don't want the pencil to be too dark. Um, you're doing all of the hard work with the paints, really. So once you're at this point, you should be good to go and move ahead with the paints. <laughs> go ahead and grab some of these colours. So as I said before, it's an abstract piece, so it doesn't really matter what colours you use, but ideally you want to use opposite colours, so a bit of blue, a bit of yellows and reds and greens, and of course it's fine if you're limited with your watercolours. You can always make colours with the colours you've got. So if you add white to a colour, for example, it makes a much li lighter version of that colour. And because this is watercolour, adding water lightens it automatically, as you'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the lightest colour and that's yellow. So go ahead and take quite a wide brush like so and um, dip it in some water and a tiny bit of the yellow paint. You don't need too much really because it's watercolour. Um, grab an empty space on the palette and kind of add more water to it. You want to get it as light as possible to begin with. Um, so this is going to act like a base colour. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and completely um, colour in the giraffe with this 
pale yellow colour. Okay, so once you've done that, you should end up with something that looks a bit like this and it's normal for your paper to crinkle quite a lot. Um, so you want to first of all go ahead and let that dry. Okay, so now you what you've got is um, paint that's pretty much dry and you want it to be as dry as possible because you don't want the paints mixing together with watercolours. Whereas with acrylics you ideally rely on the paints combining and that creating a new colour. Um, so what we're now going to do is work our way through the colours and I'm going to start off with slightly darker yellow and obviously you can just use the same yellow um, just with less water this time and then orange then red and so on. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding, um, if we look at our previous image, I'm going to be adding these reds and these blues and pinks and oranges in between. So for this part I've been using a thinner brush and obviously if you've only got one type of brush you want to be using the wide bit if you want uh, wider strokes and obviously the edge of it if you want thinner strokes. Um, and also one thing to note is where you see the curves of the animal, to make it seem more 3D you ideally want to have your brush strokes according to those curves and as you layer on paint it tends to look more 3D you'll see. darker colours you should know that um, where the light hits it's um, the colour looks lighter so it would help it look more 3D if you stick to the darker colours in edges and borders so um, so the blues and the browns you want to ideally stick to the creases <laughs> that you let for the paint to dry because you really do not want to be mixing colours at this point. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add on some more reds and browns and blacks once this is dry. <laughs> what I'm really doing is um, I'm using the edge of the brush to kind of create these details on the giraffe to make it more look more lifelike and you need to really be careful and go in and try and add depth to the painting so I'm using more curved strokes as you can see that one's quite curved creating um, depth um, next I'm going to go be going in with browns and blues for the outlines and the eyes and the mane. Um, so keep watching. So when you get to the point of doing the outlines you want to get a really thin brush because you want to be really detailed and make sure that the paint is dry before you carry on. and the browns to create these tiny details and I'm telling you now that makes all the difference it makes it look more 3D so um, that's the end of my tutorial um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, make sure you give it a go and 
have a look at my art page um, if you just type in my name Millie J Deep which is linked down in the description below.